going to these places sucks. These places suck. Okay, so being, being diagnosed with ADHD and autism means that there are a lot of different places that I don't particularly enjoy going. Hair salons. I do not like getting my hair cut at hair salons. I guess there's two ways to get into the hair salon. The first is you've already scheduled an appointment. For me, that's a little bit easier. And then the second is you walk in. A lot of places are walk in. When I walk in, it's, it's all open. The barber shops, it's always open and there's other people in there. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Do I, I walk in the door? Do I just stand there by the front? Cause sometimes somebody doesn't come up to me right away. I'm just standing there and I feel stupid and I feel nervous. I just want to get in the chair, put the thing on me and let's get to work. But it never happens like that. You always, you have to first go in and do the intro thing. How can we help you today? I'm like, uh, shy. So that sucks. And then once you get in the chair, the barber starts asking tons of questions. And I don't know the answer to any of the questions. What kind of cut do you like? I, I don't I don't know. Make it look nice, please. That never works. There's always you know razor. What number razor? Three, four. <laughs> what? Uh, and if they want, if, if they know that you're a first timer, they'll always try to upsell you with other things like, oh, interested in a shave or a wet mask? <laughs> no. But I get so nervous. I'm like, yeah, okay. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. I absolutely hate it. I just, I want to get in the thing and out. Sir. <laughs> Derek. I always get horrible haircuts. So I'm really worried as this whole thing is happening. A lot of the times the dude's gonna start talking to me, asking me questions, stupid questions that I don't wanna answer. I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna chit chat. Just get down to business, start cutting the hair. Pull cut, pull cut, let's get moving. But no, it doesn't work like that. Some of those barbers, <laughs> I don't know if they're lonely or, or what's happening or if they think this is what they need to do. Maybe some people like it. A lot of people, they like the little chit chats. Oh yeah, I just was down over at Bob's grocery store buying myself a little bit of catnip. <laughs> Who cares? I, I could care less about what you were doing 30 minutes ago or four hours ago. As long as you're not breaking the law, um, we can keep it to ourselves. Anyway, just shouldn't you be focused on like the angles so you don't cut my ears off? And then they give instructions. And sometimes I don't process instructions very quickly. So what happens with ASD is people will ask a question. I have ADHD and ASD. I need some time to process the answer. And because I didn't answer, you know, in a normal time frame, what they felt comfortable with, they asked the question again louder. And that interrupts my process and interrupts my thinking. So then I have to start all the way back at zero again. But I can sense that there is a little bit of impatience going on. And I feel nervous because of it. I can feel it. I don't know if it's actually there or not, but I feel it. I just, I need time to process things. And because I'm nervous, I'm just gonna give an answer. And sometimes it's not the right answer and I regret it later. And the other thing at the, with the barber, there's so many things that are unknown. You don't know. For me, I move around a lot. I travel a lot and I go to my travel destinations for anywhere between one to three months. So I have to get my hair cut at all different places. So when you go in there, you don't know what the routine and the setup's gonna be. You don't know how it's gonna happen. And everything that they do is new. I remember I went to one barber shop and the guy just grabbed my arm Arm, pulled it, stretched it out, popped the elbow a little bit, and then started massaging my forearm. And nothing wrong with a massage. I just, I didn't expect it. I didn't know what was going on there. He just, whoosh, boom, and then bam, 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 bam. It was sudden, and I wasn't, I didn't expect it. So I got tensed and it hurt my stomach. I don't know if this has happened to anybody watching this, but for me, when I get really nervous and really uncomfortable, my stomach gets, in, <laughs> it goes crazy. I always feel like I have to go to the bathroom. and. When you're in a barber chair and you have the plastic shield wrapped over you and the thing over your neck and all of that goody stuff to prevent the hair from getting in your body, you can't go to the bathroom at all. Salons do not smell good for me. It bothers me. I don't like the smell of the salons. The other thing I don't like is the razor. It's loud and it's right, you know, when they cut the sides, it's right by your ear. I get, I, it's right in there and that bothers me. And a lot of the times when sometimes there's zzz in your ear, that's when they'll decide to ask a question. I can see their mouth moving and looking at me. I don't, I can't hear you at all, no concept. And then it's the look of like, you know, no, I'm not rude, I can't hear you. The hair dryer, after they cut my hair, do it all, fix it all, they blow dry the hair and I hate it. I don't like the noise of the hair dryer and I don't like the heat blown in my face and on my hair. It makes me feel not good. Not good at all. If I know that I'm going back to the hair salon, I want to build some rapport. 
I tell them, don't, we don't need that. We don't need the hair dryer. And they're so shocked. It's like, wh why? I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Seriously, why, why does my microphone smell like a pork taco? Hey, welcome to my video. 